Hi, fishy folks. Happy Fry Fry Friday to you. In today's epically, massively dope video, a fish room tour of Michael's Fish Room. Haven't done that in a while, plus I've been away for four or five days, and uh, I want to go over the live aquaria order. So, do me a favor. Grab a snack and a beverage, and check out michaelsfishroom.com when we're done, and stand by. All right, fishy folks, let's start with the live aquaria order green cobras. Now, there were supposed to be eight pair, and I'm doing this live as I always do. Just came down to the fish room, it's Friday morning. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I see eight fish, that's four pair. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight and uh they suck some of the males are decent but like there's one with like a mixed tail like clearly that's a mutt i don't know where where it went so um i do see one female in the back i'm going to continue to um treat these for internal parasites i've been using um flake food medicated flake food from everything aquatic and they eat it and they seem to be doing okay <coughs> i'm fine um and we'll see how it goes once they start breeding i'll start checking the fry and see if they're uh breeding somewhat true 80 percent true and i may start to sell them after the first batch um other than that they're probably just gonna go in the mutt tank and become mutts if they're healthy all right moving on this tank is the tank that has uh, fry in it from um, the guppies I got from Bucks County Aquarium Society auction. They were, I forgot what they're called. I have the bag behind me. I just don't feel like getting it, but there's a couple fry in here. I'm just letting them grow out. And they're so freaking small and uh, hard to see. I didn't want to put anything else, like try to take all the fry and put anything else in this tank. So I'm just letting them grow out. <coughs> I'm fine. Mutt tank, um, backup mutt tank doing well. By the way, guys, if you see the reflection of my shirt in the tank, supercichlids.com, tomorrow, Saturday, I will be at their store in Dover, Delaware, all day, working as an employee, bagging fish, answering your questions. If you wanna come by, uh, stop by and say hi, I would love to say hi. And uh, then you can buy lots of stuff. They have all the high quality foods, and uh, like a gajillion gallons of tanks. I don't know, I actually don't know how many gallons they have, but they have huge rows of 75 gallon tanks and at least two or three fantastic display tanks. You should come, come by. I'll be there starting at 11, probably until they close at seven. And uh, come by, say hi and buy lots of stuff. All right, red cobras, uh, really nothing new here. Lots of grow outs. Um, these guys are doing well. And over here we have mysterious guppy fry. <coughs> I'm fine. Um, I don't know where they came from. They, they look like mutts, but I mean, that's a fantastic looking mutt. So uh, I don't really know where they came from. Uh, I'm gonna put them in the mutt tank, I think, after they grow out a little bit more and I actually see what they are. And of course there are some just regular bristlenose plecos in here growing out. Here, there's also some fry, which you can't see, and there's one back there by the, the box filter. Um, just hanging out, not really sure what it is again. So, I know what was in these tanks before, and I think that's what they were, that's what they are, but I'm letting them grow out just to make sure so we don't contaminate any strains. Worst case scenario, they go in the mutt tank. Here's some more of the order from Live Aquira. These are the purple snowflakes as you can see they are not purple nor snowflakeish. i don't really know what they are except for garbage um real quick uh they sent me a survey about my experience and i pretty much hammered them i didn't let them know i was a youtuber although i wanted to but uh i let them know i am waiting for a resolution because they still haven't sent me my refund so yeah, these fish look like garbage. They don't look like purple snowflakes. Uh, I'll probably be asking for a refund for these as well. 
Uh, empty tank, rainbow dragon mosaic tank. All I have are males left. I'm looking for females. If I've sold you rainbow dragon mosaics and you have some females you would like to sell back to me or trade back to me, uh, let me know. Please email me because I've been looking for them. They are a great fish and I can't seem to find females. Blue deltas. Uh, I put some of these outside in a pond so the tank looks a little light for now, but hardy fish doing well. Really nothing bad to say about them. All right, let's move up. These are the yellow guppies and bristlenose plecos. I have to, my plan for this weekend is to consolidate all my plecos. I think I have a few strains, a few of the same strains in different tanks. And uh, like this is a 10 gallon and, and those guys are way overcrowded. Um, I mean, this thing probably gets a 50% water change daily, but still. Um, and there's a poop ton of snails and of course mom because mom is awesome uh, These are the calico bristlenose grow outs You can see them all just chilling waiting to eat. They're so cute and adorable Here are two males um, From a live aquara order <coughs> Not sure if they're green cobras or, ye or yellows uh, They were supposed to tell me and they never did Anyway, uh, the female died while I was on vacation, and so these are just useless males. Here we have the neon blue guppies. Look how huge that female is. There's a couple different fry drops. I've already sold quite a few out of this tank, adults. And uh, these are a pretty hardy fish and uh, easy to breed. So if you're looking for a starter fish, this is a good one. Um, blue neons. All right, standing up. Let's go to the top row. <coughs> Sunset cover mosaics, lost them all. Probably my fault, but I don't really know. Uh, these are the fish I got from that breeder in Puerto Rico. These are the uh, Japanese blues. Nice guy, nice fish, but my Japanese blues are bluer. So I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with these guys. Also, she looks a little skinny. I've been treating this tank as well, just to make sure. Here's another line of his that he developed. I can't remember what they're called. They're really skittish and uh, they look great. When, when they're not stressed and you can actually see them, they, they are a nice looking guppy, but a little skittish for me. Uh, empty tank, empty tank. This had the red cobra, the one female that I got from Live Aquaria, but that died the next day. One Tanaka maple leaf male. If you have any Tanaka maple leaves, you would like to sell me, I would like to buy them. Half blacks, <coughs> just growing grow outs out. Black Moscow male, uh, the red cobra female passed away, given birth. And uh, then the male ate all the guppies, all the fry. So I gotta get another female in here when uh, I have some adult grow outs. Here is the uh, spawn from the red cobra female and black Moscow male. Um, you can see they're growing out. Really not much update from the last time I updated them. They are nice looking guppies and if I can get these to breed true, I'd be pretty happy. So we'll see when these breed back to each other, we'll see what the fry looks like. Here are the um, steel nebulas. <coughs> Again, I'm fine. Uh, again, not really happy. They look a little, I call them dirty, like mixed. So I, I've sold a couple and let people know, hey, they're not 100% pure, but it's a good looking guppy nonetheless. Jarawee Lazuli's grow outs, looking nice. Green Cobra grow outs. These are from my original strain. Um, and the other, the other uh, wholesale order I got. Um, just growing out, waiting to see what happens. You can, you know, there's probably 30 fry in there. So hopefully when those grow out, we'll have plenty to sell. Here are the Medusa guppies, which I, I believe is just another name for steel nebulas. They look the same, but these guys also don't really breed true. I don't know if that's how they're supposed to be, but kind of letting them do their thing and we'll see what happens. Here are the bluegrass guppies. Um, I did take out all the males except for two. And that, believe it or not, is a female. Look how gorgeous she looks. The lights behind me went out. We're gonna have to pause and uh, turn those lights on in a second. So there's like one fry, I think. I don't know if there's any more in there, but 
It, the tank was overcrowded with mail, so I think they ate the tender and delicious guppy fry. Um, I still need to catch one more mail. I remember before I went on vacation, I tried to catch them and I couldn't, so. I'll catch them. Here are the dark purple Moscow's. Uh, growing out, wait until we have enough to put on the website, hopefully in another couple months. And there's the empty tank, which I, again, I think is leaking. I haven't done anything with it because I'm lazy. Uh, stand by, I'm gonna turn the lights on on the, on the other side. All right, fishy folks, the lights are on. Now you might be saying to yourself, Mike, why did you have to pause the video to turn the light on? Well, I use smart plugs, so they're all linked to my phone. I can turn the lights on and off from anywhere in the world as long as I have an internet connection. Anyway, <clears throat> here are more uh, chocolate bristlenose plecos, lots of moam, and a couple of platies. I have sold the platies. Uh, I was supposed to ship them on Monday, and then I something came up, and I didn't ship any orders on Monday. So if you're waiting on orders for me and I didn't contact you, it's because I suck. But know that uh, your orders will ship this coming Monday. Uh, all right. Super red bristlenose pleco grow outs. They're getting almost big enough to sell. Like that one in the back is big enough to sell. Let's see if we can't. See? All right. So um, lots of moam. Love the moam. Lots of hiding places. Lots of algae on the caves to eat. And uh, these guys are just growing out. And when they grow out and big enough to sell, I will start selling them. I would imagine they're gonna be on perpetual back order because I probably have 20 on order already. And you know, even though there's probably 50 or 100 guppy, uh, plecos in there, they're gonna sell quick. Empty tank, my Japanese blues. Um, if you remember this, these Japanese blues, somebody shipped me as a practice shipment and he shipped these to me after buying them from me and then breeding. These guys, just they're super prolific um in addition there are some plecos in here that i got at, at uh, the nec there's one on the wall just grow outs all right these are super breeder doug's uh red russian lace guppies lots of babies lots of fry there's also some uh, albino chocolate plecos in here they are for sale oh looks like we just had some fry while i was away i see some tiny babies in there they're just growing out. Once they grow out and I have enough pairs, I'll put them on the website. But there's what one of them looks like. They are stunning. All right. <clears throat> this is a tank. Hold on, I gotta move the filter. Hawaiian snake skins and also plecos, calico plecos. You can see I have the Aqua Clear. <clears throat> I'm fine, 50 on it. I put it on before I left because there was, there was just too much moam. Uh, and when I went to try to catch fish, it made it very difficult. So uh, I put the filter on before I left for vacation. I came home and it was overflowing because it was clogged. So I cleaned it. And uh, this is just from one night. So we'll clean the filters again and let it run, stir it up a little bit and go from there. Here are my Black Moscow grow outs. Uh, I shipped an order to California and the post office jacked it up and let's see it was probably in the mail for seven days the male did die but the two females were alive i was shocked that anything was alive with the heat we have but uh the customer has chosen for me to ship him another mail so i will on monday all right what else we got oh red cobra grow outs ben here are your grow outs you can see the size of them and how they're doing here we have red tux I don't know if we can see anything with the bubbles, so we'll just move on. More green cobra grow outs. We have two tanks of green cobra grow outs in here. This tank also has parents in it. Maybe we'll get down here for a better view. Here's my all male guppy tank. I, I really want to make this a 20, um, or at least make my all male guppy tank a 20. But all different kinds of males, yellow cobras, uh, red cobras, Glass, belly guppies, black Moscow's, just to name a few. Gold Cobra grow out tank, couple babies, couple females. Black Panda grow out tank. There's like a legitimate poop ton of fry in here. You can see a couple adult females and one male. Here are the blue Cobra guppies. Um, Yeah, not really happy with these. I did sell a pair. I want to see if they, how they breed. Um, 
So we'll see. All right, moving on. Uh, Red Dragon, Zumbo Red Dragons. These guys I've been selling a lot of, and you can see stock is quite low, but they're finally growing, and I can sex them quite easily now. So we'll see what happens. This tank is a mystery. There was probably 30 fish in here when I left for vacation, and now I only see one. In fact, yesterday I thought everything was gone, and I don't know what the hell happened. It's a mystery, but these were uh, half black reds, which I really need to get a hold of. <coughs> here are some long fin plecos and gold cobra breeding project. Uh, let's see. Uh, blue eye lemon plecos, lots of grow outs and no babies. I'm surprised. I thought for sure I'd have babies when I came back. We had a pretty good storm a couple days before I left, and I'm I'm a little surprised we don't have babies. The drop in pressure usually makes them boom, chicka, boom, boom, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, here are the Snow White Guppies. If you remember, I lost the male, um, so I have to find a male, which shouldn't be too difficult. It's usually females you have a hard time with. Um, I would assume she's hit, but she hasn't dropped fry yet, so we'll see what happens. All right, shall we take a look at Chewy? Chewy's tank is really dirty. Um, it's not dirty, there's just, there's just algae on the glass. <coughs> I'm fine. As you know, I don't, I don't usually clean the glass. Actually, the, the magnet to clean the glass, the mag float fell as I was cleaning it before I left for vacation, so. But anyway, Chewy's doing well. Uh, he handles me leaving for weeks at a time okay. You can see there's plenty of java moss in here. What I do is when I, before I put java moss from one tank to another, I put it in here for a day or two, just in case there's any fry that I missed. Chewy will eat them as a tender and delicious snack, and I won't contaminate any other lines of guppies. All right, fishy folks, let's take a look at the mutt guppy tank, the massive 90 gallon mutt guppy tank. You can see quite a few fry and juveniles and a couple adult males and females. This is the mutt guppy tank. And uh, there are some um, Jibiceps plecos in here, but they never come out. So we overfeed the heck out of this tank because we got to get these guppies growing because you guys love the mutts. Pretty hearty and delicious. All right, fishy folks, that does it for the Michael's Fish Room Tour. Hope you liked it. Uh, any comments or questions, please leave them below. And if you're around on Saturday anywhere near Dover, Delaware, check out Super Cichlids. Go to their website to find out their address. I'll probably put a link down below as well. And come visit me and say hi. See ya. Hi, fishy folks, and happy Fry Fry Friday to you. In today's massively epically dope video, a fish room tour. So grab a snack and a beverage. It's gonna be a long one because we have a couple tanks to go over, as well as talk about the live aquarium order and feedback from Live Aquaria. So, snack and a beverage. I already said that, let's do this again. Uh, by the way, if you guys see the reflection in, in, the, in the tank, yeah, that's, that's great. All right, let's move over here. Here's some more of the Japanese, of the, uh, not Japanese, dumbass.